What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the fuel filter on this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description, head over to 1AAuto.com. Before I remove the fuel filter, I like to relieve the pressure from the fuel system because I don't want to get sprayed with fuel in the face. So I'm gonna remove this cover under the hood um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and right there. Sometimes you might have a cover over this. Just take a small pocket screwdriver and take that cover off. Remove these bolts. That one, and get under here. Remove this one as well. Just use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Get those loose. Just slide this cover up out of the way. And there's a fuel fitting right there. So we'll unscrew this just with your hands. And there's a Schrader valve in there. What I do is just take a rag and a screwdriver over the Schrader valve and just push down. The rag will catch the fuel. And that's gonna relieve the pressure. So then when you take the fuel filter off, it's not gonna spray in your face. Just reinstall the cover, the cap. Snug that up, put this cover back on. Ten millimeter socket and a ratchet, tighten these down. Just one step, it makes it a little bit easier for changing the fuel filter. So underneath the vehicle, there should be a shield right here. This vehicle doesn't have it. There should be some fasteners right here, here, right here here and two back there. So you're gonna to wanna to remove that. If the front shield is in your way, you're gonna to wanna to remove that as well. There's other fasteners in the front of the vehicle. So take those off and we can access this right here. Now this is a cover that's gonna cover the fuel filter. Um, so I'm gonna take an eight millimeter socket and take this screw out. I'm just gonna use a hammer, tap it. It's a little bit rusty. Loosen this up. Take that down. And there's two fasteners right here. Just use the eight millimeter socket extension and then just tap those. Take the ratchet, take these off. There we go this one up as well. I'm gonna just hold the shield with my other hand. All right, take that one off. You can grab the shield, slide it out, and pull it down. All right, I need to remove these clamps. Now these clamps are a one-time use only. Um, they're torqued down with a special socket that um, you're not gonna be able to get. So you can loosen them up with a straight blade screwdriver, but you're not gonna be able to tighten them, so you have to replace those clamps. So loosen these up. All right, I'll take the screwdriver, straight blade screwdriver, and just pop this hose off right here. This is for the fuel pressure regulator, it's built into the filter. That just pops off. There's no clamp on that one. All right, and then I'm just gonna try to loosen up these hoses a little bit. I'm not gonna take them off. Keep in mind that this center hose right here is the blue one right there, and the black one goes to the outer one. So you're gonna wanna do the same with the new fuel filter. I'm gonna take a right angle pick and just get underneath the uh, fuel lines. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath because you are gonna lose a little bit of fuel. I do have these hose pliers. These might help a little bit. You just grab and just twist a little bit. If you have these, these might help you. If not, you could use some needle nose pliers. Just uh, be careful, don't pinch it too tight. Just taking the screwdriver, trying to loosen this up a little. I just want it to move 
I don't need to take the hose completely off a little bit. It just, it'll be easier to try to pry now while the filter is still attached with the bracket. And that one's pretty loose, so that's good. Just move on to the other ones. Okay, with those loose like that, and the front one loose, then I can take this bracket off. Now this nut is pretty rusty. Um, this happens to be a 10 millimeter socket I'm gonna use and an extension. Because it's so rusty, it may have been a different size at one time. Just give it a tap with the hammer. And take a ratchet, loosen this up. Just gonna spray a little um, rust penetrant on there. Let that soak for a minute. All right, so I'll take that off. Take my straight screwdriver. Pull this down. Slide this down. This is gonna come off, this bracket. Just slides in like that. And with the drain bucket. Take this off over here. Pop these lines off. It's a good idea to wear safety glasses when you're doing this, just so if any uh, fuel sprays, you don't get it in your eyes. Oh, a little bit of spray. bucket. Move this over. And twist this one off over here. take these clamps off because I'm not reusing them. I'm going to put new ones on. Just smaller worm clamps, small worm clamps. And same over here, right there. And right there. If these hoses don't look so good, you can replace those hoses. Take the new, new filter, line this one up first. Now this is the black one that went to that uh, further away fitting. And then the blue one went to the middle. Just like that get this front fitting on. Just like that. Put this bracket on first. Get that lined up, get those feet lined up. So I am gonna replace the nut. I'm gonna use a uh, 10 millimeter socket. Tighten this down. Snug it up. That's good. Now I'll take a straight blade screwdriver and tighten down these hose clamps. All right, so all those hose clamps are snugged up. Now we can put on this vacuum line that goes to the regulator. Slide that in position, just like that. At this point, I want to prime the system. There's going to be air in the fuel lines, so what I'm going to do is turn the key on, let it sit for 10 seconds. You should be able to hear the fuel pump kick on. Shut it off, turn it back on for a couple of seconds, and shut it off. I'll do that three times, and then I'll try to start it. I can check around and see if there's any leaks at this point. 
If there's no leaks, you're good to start it. I'll start it. And it starts right up. Let it run for a second. And then I'll shut it off and I'll check for leaks. So we checked it out. We don't have any leaks, so now we can reinstall the cover. Cover lined up here. Right here. This cover is pretty bad. It'd be a good idea to replace this cover. But we're just going to reuse it. Put the bolts right here. And then there's these two nuts are going to go over here. And I'll take a eight millimeter socket extension and a ratchet. Snug these up. At this point, if you have the underbody cover that goes right here, you're going to want to put that on and secure those fasteners in the correct locations. This vehicle does not have it. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.